welcome back to the Punk Rock Princess. So I'm just doing a small little vlog on a little bit of just everything. I've got my bum clothes on, I'm just chilling, and honestly my muscles hurt so much. Like I've been going swimming so much, check these out. Doing all the breast strokes and everything. So I'm quite proud of myself I'm actually doing something active. I mean, it's hard enough in Edinburgh where you feel like you're consistently always walking up stairs and it gets to a point that you're just like, do I ever seem to go down any form of stairs because all I seem to be doing is walking up them. But, um, so yes, I've joined a gym and I'm so psyched about that. I haven't actually used the gym yet, but you know, I've, I've introduced myself to like the swimming pool and the sauna, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I don't know what it is. There's just something about swimming that's so therapeutic. You know, it's just, it's like you're flying and you're just like, all your problems and your matters just disappear and you're in your own little element and your own little world and it's just so nice. But you know, then you get all those people like, you know, doing the actual kind of, oh, okay, well I've got to do 20 laps and I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And then there's me and all I really want to do is like funny little mermaid thingies or splash about or do like roly polies in the water until you get water in your nose and then you're like this was a really bad idea why did I even bother so I'm also just gonna go on about how all of us deep down have always got something embarrassing happening to us and let's be honest I mean everyone always says to me I should have my own reality TV show and come to think about it I should the amount of stuff that goes wrong with me or the stupid things that I get myself into or situations it's almost to a point like is this planned for instance the other day I was literally just walking down the street and before you know it my heel on my little boot broke I slipped backwards I ended up falling on my ass right in the middle of the main street to make matters worse my bag strap broke as well and my papers everything in my bag just flew out went on the road I also just bought a sandwich from Greg's and that just went I was so disappointed. I mean, there's a chicken teriyaki sandwich that a pigeon really, really, really enjoyed. So I'm doing a little bit good for the world. But it's like, it, that's just a normal day. Like, that's just chilled and relaxed. You know, I, I, I thought Tinder was for making friends. That one's never gonna die, so I'm just gonna put it out there. Because I've got a blog coming up soon, and it's literally just about everything. <laughs> you know, there's always something, and you see all these reality TV shows, and you're like, my god, if I had camera crew following me around, there would be so much stuff right now on the Lab Bible or on some form of BuzzFeed. Because the amount of stuff that goes wrong in my life, it's just absolutely it. I, you know, I have so many people say to me, like, how I get through days to days doing my doing my things because there's always something I seem to do wrong or you know I get to a situation halfway there I'm like oh I had no idea we have to bring you know comfy clothes and a yoga mat to a yoga class that kind of goes from my own stupidity sometimes why do you think I dye my hair pink so no I really want to hear and learn all about your embarrassing it could be something small, it can be something big, just whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'd love to add it to one of my vlogs that I'm doing at the moment. And obviously links and everything, we can be tweeted if you if you wish to remain anonymous. That's also completely cool. You've all done something really, really stupid and humiliating. And it's nice to know that you're not really alone because, you know, all the stuff that goes on with me, I'm kind of like, seriously? What I've learned from this experience is Tinder guys is not for making friends. And whatever you do, always have an extra pair of shoes before going to some form of an interview in your bag. It's just in case. And also, an umbrella is not handy for just rain, but if you live in a city with all the pigeons and birds and seagulls flying around everywhere, <laughs> there's more that waterfalls from the sky. So keep in mind. But yes, stay tuned. Email me your videos to links below, and I'll be in contact. Bye.